this is a story about a guy named Mel. He's a lot like you and me, except he lives in a place called Hollywood, which isn't even really there. He's married, but he fools around a lot. And he's got an incompetent nephew who makes him crazy a lot. And a psychiatrist who's trying to make him sane, but that isn't really happening a lot. He's got a soon-to-be ex-wife who'd like to see him dead, and that might actually happen. He runs a movie studio called Hopeless. His life is a mess, and you should be glad you're not him. Dr. Stein. Speaking. Buddy, hey. it's Mel Wax. I, have you got a minute? I gotta, I gotta just touch base with you here. I'm, I'm, everything's coming apart. I'm getting a very bad vibe from this picture we just previewed. I had a screening last night that if they had stood up in the audience and said, Mel Wax, leave the business, it couldn't have been more specific. I've got a disaster in Zagreb, which gets worse every day. I have an insane Swedish pill-popping director. My wife thinks I'm cheating on her, which, of course, as we both know, I am. I think I covered... Mel, 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 first it's, of all, I'm saying it's angst. I'm, well, it's what you so, called angst. Slow down for a second, because, yeah. you know, this is, this is the good news, is that all of your problems are real. Hold on. Hello? You just couldn't wait to get out of the house today, could you? Not true. Not no, true. Didn't even kiss me goodbye. That's not all this problem. I was just thinking maybe we're running to get back into your car so you can uh, get rid of the, the panties that were in there. I have no idea what you're talking about. You have no idea? I have no idea what you're talking about. i got to take a call. Hold on, hold on, hold on one second. I... Hello? Mel, Mel, it's Peg. It's Pagala. Hi, honey. How are you? I heard that screening of smelly feet, the one you had in Pasadena, was just a disaster. Oh, my God. Well, first of all, d dirty feet. You know, give us a, a slight break. The title has been driving us nuts. It was originally called There Will Come Soft Rains. I don't know how it became dirty feet. You think it's smelly feet? Nobody knows what the hell it's called. They hate the movie is the it problem. It doesn't matter. Everyone hates the movie. Everybody you hates me. the movie. You need, you need some help. Hold on. You were talking about the... I was talking about the panties in your car. I have no idea what I you're talking about. I was in your car this morning to yeah. get a note, a little love note for you to find. Yeah. Maybe bright note. I didn't today. find a note. Because I didn't leave it. Well, then why are you telling me you were going to... put gonna... a note in your car and I saw panties. Panties? What are you talking about? I have no idea what you're talking... Oh, pink, wait a minute. Pink, lacy panties. Of course, the They're pink, not lacy... Mine. I don't wear that size. They're not yours. Did you see a price tag on them? No. Well, that's because I took it off. They were a gift. It was an anniversary present. Why are we going round and round like this? I, was I found panties in your car. Honey. Pink, lace panties and they're not mine. They are now. I am presenting them to you on the... They're not somebody panties. else's. I bought them for you at, at Victoria's thing. What did you bought called? me used panties? They're not they used. They do that now? They're not used. Unless they lied to me. Oh, hold, hold on, hold on one second, hold on. Oh, hello. Um, Hi. Mr. Wax. Yes. Hi, it's Isaac Mizrahi calling. What's that? I, I, we don't really have a lot of time, I'm told. So. I'm such an awful day, yeah, yeah. Well, I had a great idea. Okay. Do you remember the musical The Rink? No. no. Liza Minnelli and John no. Rivera? It was like sometime in the early 80s. It was called The Rink. You yeah. Know, right? Wouldn't it be fabulous to see Liza and Cheetah in The Ring by Wagner? It would be long, but it would be really... Rape. Here's the problem. Well, Here's Liza the... in braids, but you know what? I've spoken to her already. She she can do it. I mean, she can really? respond. She can well, do braids. I can stop yeah. you right there. That's yeah. the problem. We'll set something up. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye. All right, hi, I'm back. Listen, we can do a series of small screenings. Yeah. I can submit a list to you of everyone I think we should invite. Yeah. And we can get their shoe sizes. And we could send one shoe in the mail, in a box, and they get the other shoe if they come to the movie. I've got to take a call. i got to take a call. i got to take a call. Hold on. Hold on. You, you know, if you were describing something that was in the realm of fantasy, yeah. you know, th those problems seem as real as the ones you, you're having, but they're not. They don't, because they don't go away. Only reality goes away. That's right. Yeah. So, so, you know, we, we, we can, you know, we can prescribe, we can, we can talk about these things, we can, okay. try, to get, we can try to find the underlying... Okay, hold on. Because could, some, of, the, some yeah. of these things are recurring, yeah. recurring themes in your life, and... I know. I think if we could, if we can find the underlying cause, you know, which is I that, think that is the work of therapy. It keeps going back to that same summer at the at Boy Scout camp at Wawi I mean, it, I think so many things hinged on that moment in the tent. Yeah. And could you hold on one second? Could sure. you hold on? Yeah. Just the left shoe. Yes. Then the left shoe, and if they come to the movie, they get the right shoe at the party. That is. How is beautiful. that? Beautiful. That is beautiful. We could give the shoe at the screening, because sometimes people will skip the movie and just come to the party for the other shoe. 
Honey, Galileo, Einstein, and we Peggy. And we get footwear news to do a cover. Oh, my God. What happened? What's oh, matter? my God. Oh, what, it's, what it's a broken molar here. It's just split in two. It's How like the Grand that? Divide. You know, at the, at the Olive Garden? Yes. They're supposed to be pitted, right? Yes. Not this one. We had a very poor screening last night, but poor is not the word. Impoverished is the word. Destitute. Uh, barrel of the gun in the mouth is kind of how I'm feeling this morning. I don't want to talk about it anymore. What else is on the slate? Go. Well, I'd like to uh, introduce the first project. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a love story about Captain and Tennille um, and their neighbor, that a midget songwriter, Paul okay, Williams. Okay, okay. I love it. I love it. Go. Do we have a story or are we just, Tracy, I mean, help me out here. Well, it's a love story. Mm -hmm. It's uh, a captain and Tennille are not going to know each other, but yeah. they realize they're the only people on earth that have the same haircut. Can I have a? Can I pitch a title just off the top of my head? It ha so happens that the captain's real name is Daryl Dragon. So, crouching Tony, hidden Daryl Dragon. <laughs> oh, oh, Mel, you're very funny, funny man. So this is you're talking about West, the director, right? Uh, no, 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 no. 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 Wes is doing something. Wes is busy with something. You know who's directing now? No. Is John Biner. Love him. And he's terrific. And Love you know him. He does these voices and stuff. He does, does he great do voices. He can yeah. still do these voices, incidentally. Have, uh, he does this very weird, very uncanny Tony Curtis. Hmm. I've never even heard anybody imitate him uh, at all, but there's John Biner. Anyway, he's yeah. very old now, yeah. and he, he directs. He's very, very funny. Yeah. And I'm going to have him... At a nominal cost. I mean, we can get this out of petty cash almost. This guy yeah. is almost desperate. And yeah. possibly cast someone funny like Danny Gans from Vegas. Dan, you he's know, Danny's funny, willing to work. He's a work. funny guy. I, the cigarette bit he does. Oh, that's great oh, bit. It's yeah. fantastic. I've never oh, seen that on film. That. I, no, no it's, it's, funny, it's never he was been voted done. funniest uh, funniest comedian in Vegas. Yeah, funniest mm -hmm. comedian really? in Vegas history, mm -hmm. darling. The problem mm -hmm. with the cigarette bit, my feeling. I'm sorry, I'm a little distracted. I have the worst. I have a toothache. That I wouldn't wish on Hitler's birthday, I wouldn't give him this toothache. Have you seen Glimmer Glass? you got to get into Glimmer Glass. Oh, come on. He's the best in town. Everyone goes. I mean, I've seen in his waiting room, fasten your seatbelts. Yeah. Uh, Tom. Yeah. Mel. Not yeah. you, but the other one. I know. Meryl. Meryl. But I mean. You know something? If I could be in a waiting room like that, I wouldn't even need to see the dentist. Jeannie, uh, Mel wants an appointment with Dr. Glimmer Glass, Cannon Drive. Okay. Samala. You're sitting there very quietly. You're not saying anything. Do you not want to talk to me about how hopeless is going? Well, hopeless. It's funny you should mention it because uh, we're filming, as you know, in Zagreb. It's been going on for about um, 11 months now. Yeah, yeah. And uh, we're about nine months uh, behind schedule. Yes. It will be a, just a beautiful picture. I'm uh, we're so hoping. convinced of that. The yeah. director is so inventive. Ignatius he's, is also insane, though. Ignatius he, is really unusual. and that's he, No, why, he's insane. Excuse me? As director, there is never reason now not to take clothes off. When I have actor, actress come to me, say, what is seen, who am I, what I do, I say, Sli sit down. I push on to you my sex. And uh, then uh, we make better movies. They make... I have sex with all of the people first. Then I talk to them. I talk at them. And they make their legs to open to Milmo. And that is my theory if will of films to make. If it was Ignatius and we were in Culver City... You could control him yes, more, but exactly. you would be surprised. He's very uncontrollable, and in many ways, having him very far away is much better for the picture because we don't have to be irritated so personally all the time. Camera A, use, use, use tighter lens. <coughs> Steady cam. Uh, Go away from that. here. Stop that. I will just get Wait, off of them. Oh. Let them fight. Wait. I may make Ignatius. Let them fight. Ignatius. Ow. Look out. Ignatius, is the light good on me? I <laughs> I uh, bit an extra the other day. Really? Yes, yes, it was, he practically bit off, his arm was very bad. You know, you never had this with Blake uh, Edwards. And, he, and the funny thing is, he wasn't really that angry. Wow. He was just, that's his way. Can I make this a little more personal for you? Please do. I'm going to send you to Zagreb. Oh, oh, that's so good. Oh, I can't right, you just said that. 
Dr. Stein. This is Sam Spitz calling you, and I wondered if you had a minute. Sam, for you, two minutes. I'll be very quick. I'm on my way to Zagreb. I have to have a confrontation with this Ignatius Milmo director person. He's, mm-hmm. well, he's in Zagreb, and he's directing this movie. I am so afraid of him. He is so strange and crazy, and he is so very, very big and strong. And basically, that's my issue, as it always has been. I have to go. My job is on the line, and I know I just must stand up for myself and tell this insane director who just will not listen to anything. He is so awful. He is just making my life a living hell. Mel? Give me good news. Um, unfortunately, there's a wait. There's a wait the, with Glimmer Glass. It's, I don't mind waiting a couple of minutes. I, I no, really don't. it's, um, six years. It's a six year. Six what? It's a six year wait, but, Six um, year wait for what? To get, to see the, the to dentist? To get him on the phone so that you could be on the list for someone who could get an appointment. And I have got to hold on to my power, just like you said, and just give it to this guy straight, which is, (laughs) it sounds so easy when I'm on the phone with you. And I could practice it a thousand times, and I don't know what to do. I have this crazy, ridiculous image of myself as weak and, 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 ineffective and nervous and, 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 um... Like, you know, nobody would ever listen to me because who am I? And I'm just a terrible, terrible person. And I know that's so stupid, you know, but it's very hard for me to... Slow down for a second because, you know, this is, this is the good news is that all of your problems are real. Can you hold on one second? I'm just getting, I'm getting another call. Hello? Dr. Stein, Mel Wax... Hi, Mill. Hi. Have you got got 30 seconds? I have more than 30 seconds for you. Oh, thank you. Uh, I have 40 seconds. The day is getting getting progressively worse. It turns out that I can't get in to see the doctor about this tooth. The pain is feeling a lot like the pain I have when I think about my mom. And I thought that would go away when she did, but it's only gotten worse. And 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 I'm feeling... Why why can't he see you? I don't understand that. Because, and this is the part that really hurts, is because I'm not famous enough. Oh, that 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 is well. Welcome to, to the real with... world. Welcome to the real world. I mean, this is like it's it's either Nicole Kidman or Mel Wax. What are you going right. to take? Whose mouth are you going to be in? I I would go with Nicole Kidman. I know, I know, but it just hurts. It but, hurts, but and hey, I'm feeling I'm... so much pain right now. I mean, you have to learn to love yourself, not because, not because somebody's making your movie, but because. Uh... Jeez, I wish I could think of another reason. Hello. Hi, Dr. Stein. It's Tracy Mank. Do you have a minute? I, Tracy, for you? Two minutes. Oh, good. I just wanted to tell you how great everything is going. And oh. you know, mm-hmm. my collagen is in full form right now. Um, and my breasts feel really good. I've been getting a lot of compliments on them. I had my eyebrows sculpted, too. And, and right. everyone says that my haircut looks like Scarlett Johansson. So... So no, none of the side effects you were afraid of? Uh, with my haircut? No. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm, t- I'm back on the collagen, but your hair looks good, too. So, tr- Tracy, what is it, what is it that, that we're not talking about? I had a very bad staff meeting today, and my boss was mad at me because I left my panties in his car last night. He hates all of my ideas, and I think... I think... <laughs> So he. Oh my God! I think I'm having that anxiety reaction we talked about. You know, uh, my right. low something. I, oh. I. I don't know. I forget what it's called. Self-esteem. Right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> right. Anyway, I'm meeting with this really important writer for lunch, and he's got this great new project. What I just wanted to ask you is, do you think I should sleep with him, or would that be bad for my self-esteem? I, I need to know what you think. I, I think it's an important question. Can you hang on one second? Yeah, but can you hang on too? Well, I know what you're going to say right off the bat is the title is too similar, but um, I, it's called Death of a Sales Lady, and, it, and it's about someone actually murdered in Bloomingdale's where um, there's a murder that oh, takes place. Thing. You know, they have the complaint department people's... 
People get irate. People... No, I like that a lot. I, I love. I happen to love Bloomingdale's. I, I think that's a, a wonderful idea. Yeah, it's, it's death of a sales lady, and uh, and there might be references to the to the Arthur Miller play, of course, which I'm dying to read. I've heard it's incredible, but uh, um, I don't. I don't think there's no murder. And have you read it? Uh, the sales no, I, I don't, guy. The I don't sales... read, but um... okay. Have your people read it? I know, but is I... this guy Miller still around? It's Miller, uh, isn't it? Yes, yeah. I, 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 uh, I think it is Miller. Okay. Um, it's um, Ann Miller's husband. Really? Well, first of all, I just want to say I think you're brilliant. Well, thank you. And uh, anything you want to do, uh, anything is brilliant. And I'm talking anything, but, but I, I gotta say, I really, you haven't said much, and I, I love it. Well, you know, I don't, I don't have a lot on, on paper yet. The thing Who is, cares? these, these things. They just sort of write themselves. I, I just sit there at the, at the processor, and uh, like a little door opens in the top of the head. And... <laughs> well, big men have big ideas. Pardon me. Big men have big ideas. Well, I'm I'm five ten, but uh, I've been called big at times. <laughs> uh, but that's not a movie we can make, is it? That would have a different letter in front of it. <laughs> Incidentally, that is a oh. that sweater is unbelievable. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, it's, it's gorgeous. It's a way. small. Peggy. Oh, hi, Mel. Hi, honey. How are you? I'm a little busy, but I'm okay. Okay, you got two seconds? Oh, hurry, darling. Okay, I uh, listen, I understand that you have a relationship with Dr. Glimmerglass. He gives me free dental care. For Get out of here. Everybody. Get out of here. It's a payoff. Ten minutes. Do I have gorgeous teeth? Ten, you have beautiful, beautiful teeth. teeth. I can I see them from here on the phone. Uh, exactly. Listen, yeah. if you could get me ten minutes with glimmer glass, All right. I'll do anything. I'll kiss anything you point to. Peggy, could you hold on? Sure. Could you hold on? Thanks. Hello? Mel? Hello? Mel? Hi, baby. How are you doing? I've been better. Oh, me too. God damn, this tooth is just killing me. It's like, it, it's like a Buick is parked on my face. Mel, I found a letter. Yeah? What? I was in your closet cleaning it out, cleaning out your closet. Yeah. Because they're about to paint in there. They're painting inside the closet? Just shut up. Okay. And I found a letter from Jessica. Jessica who? Yeah. Who's Jessica? Well, you tell me. Hmm? Who's Jessica? I don't know what you're talking about. I have Who's no Jessica idea. Who's Jessica who I... loves the way you taste? I have no idea who you're talking about. Jessica, what? I... You know, Jessica, the one who loves the way you taste. That's so disgusting. I have no, I, I don't know a Jessica that's that disgusting. Oh, hold, hold on, hold on one second, hold on. All right, hi, I'm back. I'm asking, asking if me? you can get me in 10 minutes. I don't think 10 you minutes, know. honey, 10 minutes, the end of the day. Like I'll validate his like parking. Talent. You don't even have a hit movie. Well, I'm a producer, I'm, a, I'm extremely important. You're not, your movies are flat. So hold on one second, I got yeah. one more call I gotta yeah. take, I'll go. That's not a letter, that's a pitch. What? That is a pitch. There's this crazy writer, he, he, he's, it's a man, but he goes by the name of Jessica, and he writes it in the form of a letter so that it'll attract the eye and stuff. I, I got one of these. Uh, uh, Paul Cass got one of these. Really? Yeah. No, no, you can call Paul anytime. Call him in five minutes. He sends hmm? panties to remind you of your wife? No, that's an unrelated... Go with Come that on. No, story, I told too? you what that was. I told you what that was. Yeah, I heard that story. Honey, my face feels like the triangle shirtwaist fire is happening in it. Did I mention I love you? Fuck off. All I'm saying is five, four minutes. Four minutes with Dr. Glimmer Glass. You're not Jerry Bruckheimer. Honey, I'll, I'm too busy. I will give you blood. I, I don't want the blood. I am busy working on this shoe I'll campaign. I'll give you my gums. I'm on Just the phone with Vanilla Blonick. Jeez, look out! out. So are we? We're pretty close, aren't we? Well, I think we are, but we're very close. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I like a lot of back end. Yeah. Okay. Got some back end uh, for me. Oh. Ooh. Uh, oh. <laughs> okay. Oh. Uh, oh. <laughs> Whoa. Now don't don't put it there. Yes. Go. How about sequel? Se se sequel rights. All sequel rights in merchandising. Fine. Come fine. On. Fine. <laughs> Uh, what am I? I got, I got. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm give you a double bangle. Oh, oh. Oh. I can't give you a double bangle. I, 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 I can't, can't understand what you... I can't give you a double... I can't give you a double banger on the set. It's Mel Wax. It's Mel Wax. I've been trying to get an appointment with Dr. Glimmerglass. Mel Wax. 
I'm sorry, I don't have you on my sheet. Melvin Wax. I heard you, sir. You don't. Melvin no, Romulus Wax. Sir, what? there's no need to use a middle name to me. I need to see the doctor. I understand, it's important. sir. I am not deaf. I am in pain, and I'm very important. What What have you done? Have I? Uh, well. Uh, last, maybe you heard saw a small film last year, The Last of the Summer Tomatoes. No, I don't. Uh, a Crock of Happiness. Crock of. Um... A Crock of Happiness. Oh wonderful... my God! I did see that. It's a but film I about hated cooking. That it's a. Movie. I'm. Oh my God! I'm blacking out. Oh my God! The room is spinning, and only you can do something. Give us. You can rest there. It's fine. <laughs> if you're gonna be, if you're gonna twitch, you're gonna have to leave. <laughs> to be the one millionth girl they see and they immediately know that I was the one. I met the director and I seemed uh, to uh, be able to pinpoint exactly what Mussolini needed and I talked many many times with the, uh, the director about everything, and then I slept with them. It was really quick, and then it was very fast sex, and it wasn't like the nine hours I had to do with Paul Verhoeven. Sam? Yes, hello. Sam? Who is this? I can't hear too well. It's Mel. Uh, Raul, would you please tell the camel to stop stepping on my foot? It's really hurting me very Sam? badly. Sam? Sam? They have a kind of a service over here. It's kind of like the AAA, but it's for camels, you know? Yeah. It's called the Triple C. Camels, uh -huh, uh -huh. camels, got it, got camels. It, got it. Yeah. And Raul Glimmerglass was just telling Raul, me. Raul what? He's my wonderful guide. Here. Say his name again. His name is Raul Glimmerglass. He's Sam. not from here originally. Sam? Yes. Sam? Yes. Put him on. Well, open wine. All right. Open wine. I can't thank you enough for seeing me. Oh, keep notice. your mouth open wide. I love you, doctor. I'm going to drill now. Okay. There we go. All I've right. never been happier in my life. I All don't right. feel anything. I know. It's wonderful. It's so beautiful. Are you relaxed? Uh -huh. I have a script. Mm -hmm. It's a wonderful script about my childhood. Okay. It began with a string and a doorknob. That's the greatest story I've ever heard. Cameras? We'd been rolling. Speed. I'm having seven cameras rolling on this scene. It's like car crash, okay? Speed, 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 speed. No one said that the mud would be this cold. Maybe for Christmas. We can both pray for gloves. The script is dog shit. I can't take this crap. It doesn't make any Nina, sense. Baby. No, this is bullshit. Darling Nina, in sin you save Rivka life. Yes. Carl tried to kill her. Terrible man. You're very bad to him. He kill him. That's you, Nina. Actings. Excuse me, excuse me. Yeah, what? Excuse what? me. Who are you? What's the problem? Oh, you are from studio? Yes, I am. I, you remember me quite well. We had several meetings and a bunch of lunches, and you, and you slapped me at one point, and I forgave you. I'm Sam yes, Spitz. Yes, I do remember. And you do remember yes. very well. Now, Spitz, excuse me, yes. Mr. Yes, Milmo. Go. I do Talk have, now. Mr. Milmo, I have a couple of things I must say to you. I must get it off my chest. Mm. All I ask of you, Mr. Milmo, please is don't try sit. to be on schedule. I won't sit. Don't sit down. Stay standing when you speak I'm, to me, I'm, please. I am standing. Don't sit down in front of me. I am standing, Thank Mr. You. Milmo. And I just want you to try a little harder. We'll meet you halfway. But these overruns, these cost-budget overruns, the set being reconstructed over and over and over again, mm. and some of the scenes that we thought were scenes, now they're not scenes anymore. No, not scenes Where did anymore. they go? I don't understand it. I don't really want to understand it. No. I want it to get better, and I want it to get better fast. That's all I have to say. That's all I have to say. Dr. Stein, this is Sam Spitz calling you. I just wanted to tell you that it went really well. And, you know, my confrontation with that director, and, well, I, I fainted. 
uh, because I forgot about that new breathing technique that you were showing me. Right. But in a way, I'm really feeling very, very proud of me. But if, in another way, I'm really not all that proud. Tell me about the part of which you're not that proud. Well, see, he's decided to turn the movie into a musical, mm-hmm. and, and he's going to throw the script away again, and, and, and he's rebuilding the main set and right. starting to recast, and he tried to have sex with me, but I was able to push him away, but it was very difficult. Can you hold on one second? I'm just getting, a, I'm getting another call. Dr. Stein. Speaking. Uh, have you got a minute? For you, two minutes. Sandy is uh, has read me the riot act. She wants she doesn't want to see me again. She says she wants a, a trial separation or at least a trial right. trial separation. Right. I, I I am not willing to let a, a, a fabulous eighteen months of marriage go down the drain. I, I, I don't want to let this go. I, I, I haven't been able to achieve an erection in uh, maybe all day or at least since I woke up. Okay, let, let, me, let me stop you there for one second mm-hmm. because. I think it's the word achieve. Uh, I think you're putting too much pressure on yourself. First of all, it sh- you shouldn't really think of an erection as an achievement. Um, I should or shouldn't? You shouldn't. Okay. Um, I I think when you describe uh, your earliest erotic experience, yes. it always comes back to camp. It always comes back to the camp. And I'm there's not- nothing wrong with that. You know, it, it was not... He was a guy who was behaving... Inappropriate. I know. We're you zeroing. You're a 13 year old boy and you have to forgive yourself. We're zeroing in on this. We're almost there. I have this feeling a breakthrough is yep. coming. And you know what? This, I, this is why we should pick up here next time. Next time? We're so close. I got five more minutes. I don't have to be anywhere for five more minutes. I know, I know, but, but, but I, have a, I have another appointment uh, in less, but, than, less than a minute. I but don't forget to... my problems, too. They're important. That's sweet. No, no, of course they're of course they're important. That's why I'm talking to you. I mean your your problems are my problems. I like to, I like when you say that. Okay. Thank you, Dr. Stein. Thank you. I will I will same time next week then. Uh, Tuesday, yeah. Great. Bye.